Welcome to Warriors TV. Tonight we are talking with Barons forward Daniel Morkai. First of all, Daniel, thank you for joining us. No worries. Uh, tough loss for your team, but um, it was a good battle throughout. It was a great game of hockey to watch. Yeah, for sure. We take a lot of positives from it, actually. Uh, it's one of the best games we've played up here in the last few seasons. Um, so, yeah, it was a tough loss, but we're, you know, we're not beating ourselves up in the room. We're happy with the performance. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to the return for sure. Yeah, and that comes next week. So, um, what's your thoughts on that one? Uh, yeah, that'll be fun, uh, taking it back to our rink. Completely different game. We know it's tough playing up here, smaller rink. Uh, Whitley play it perfectly. And maybe we didn't quite adapt to that uh, game as well as we could off today. A few too many mistakes in our own end cost us. And uh, their goalie stood on his head, to be fair, especially in the second. Put a lot of pressure, a lot of mm. pucks on when it was like, I think, 2-1. Yeah. So that made a big difference. So, But we're looking forward to next week in our own rink. Uh, so, again, it's probably slightly different to playing up here. So we're looking forward to it. We're confident. And uh, bring it on, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you, you mentioned there about the, the chances that you had after getting the game back to 2-1. I actually thought you were the stronger team at that point. And if there was a chance to draw level, that was probably a chance. Yeah, yeah, it was a chance gone, definitely. Uh, we had a shift. We must have put about 10 shots on in one shift. Um, so credit to our goalie. Again, he was phenomenal, to be fair. And yeah, a couple of mistakes cost us. Whitley made no mistakes in their D zone. We made a few bad passes, handcuffed a few players, and that cost us in the end. You got another goal back at the start of the third period, and that, at that stage was probably ideal, wasn't it, to carry out momentum into that final stretch? Yeah, we got an early goal, so we were happy with that. Great snipe from Nick, unbelievable goal. So we were happy, we were buzzing at that point, but Whitley did well to just kill the game, I think. Uh, we had some momentum, as you say, but... Yeah, it just wasn't to be in the end. They killed it well. Yeah, you've returned back from Telford. Um, so, obviously, it's a familiar line for, you, for yourself with your brother and, and Nick on there. But you, that line does a lot of damage for Barons, doesn't it? Oh, for sure. Like, uh, tonight we got the goals. Um, all the lines chip in for us. Uh, there's no disrespect for the other lines. But as you say, we are flying at the minute. As you mentioned, uh, next week the two sides meet again, this time in... Solihull, uh, a chance really for the Barons to really close up on that chasing pattern just directly behind the Solway Sharks. Yeah, Solway are looking strong at the minute at the top. So, as you say, it's going to be a good battle right down to the wire for the rest of us battling. Um, we've still got second in our sight, definitely. And it's probably it's going to be between us and Whitley, I imagine, come, come playoff time uh, for that second spot. So, we're pushing for it. Next week, obviously, that's a massive game. I think we have a few games in hand. But we have to be beaten, Whitley, if we're going to want that spot. So it's a big game for us. Yeah, and of course, Barons and, and Warriors met in the playoff semi-final last year. So could well work out that the two sides could meet again. Yeah, potentially. Potentially. We're not looking too far ahead, to be honest. It's one game at a time. So bring on next week. And then, as I say, we want to be in that good spot at the end for playoffs. But we could meet again. But as I say, one game at a time. We look ahead to next week. Hopefully we can get the win and just keep building momentum through to the playoffs. Well, very best of luck for the rest of the season, and uh, thank you for joining us. No worries, thank you.